Hello everyone and welcome to this lesson. Today we are going to learn about basic color separation in Photoshop. So design can be anything. It can be a simple text, something like this. It can be a numbers. But uh, to make things interesting in this class, we're going to do color separations and a printing on this design. We're not going to learn what is Photoshop. We're going to learn how to do color separations because this lesson is not about designing or this lesson is not about learning how to use Photoshop. But as you follow along, you will be able to catch up what I'm trying to say and what short keys that I'm using and all the tools that I'm going to use, right? So if you do not have any knowledge about Photoshop, it is completely fine. You'll be able to follow along. So first thing first, when you have your design like this, what you need to do is change the resolutions or check the resolutions, okay? So to do that, we go to image, we go to image size, and from here we check the resolution. So right now it is 300. If in case, if it is not 300, change it to 300. And from here, you see this resemble. So you click on that resemble and choose the preserve detail too. What it will do is it will preserve all the details in the design without distorting it and it will still increase the size or resolution to 300. So once you're done with that, just click OK. In my case, it's already, the resolution is already at 300. OK, so once you're done with that, you know, second thing is that in screen printing, we don't want any background, OK? You can see here, there is this background and usually for us, it's better to not have background. Something like this, OK? You see, there's only the design part. There is no background. So it makes our life very easy to do editings and, you know, do all other kinds of things. So whenever you receive a design from your clients or if you download from the Internet, you know, make sure to remove the background. Next step is to go and select your template size. The template size is decided upon your printer size or what kind of film size you're you going to use. In my case, my printer size is up to 13 by 19 inches. So my film size is also 13 by 19. So my overall template size will be 13 by 19 and all the design should come under that, okay? Should come or should fit under that template. So what I'll do is I'll go to the file, I'll click on new and as you can see from here on the side, what I'll do is I'll click on this pixel over here and change it to inches. Okay, so my width will be 39 and height will be 19. I'll keep it to resolution at 300 and rest you can just keep it as it is. Okay, and then you can create. Alright, so now what I'll do is I'm going to delete the background for this design. So there are a couple of ways to delete the, the background. The newer versions of Photoshop has many tools. For example, like if you go to this magic eraser tool, if you press for a few seconds, then this window will pop up and you choose the magic eraser tool. So you click on the white part. So if you click on that, then the background will disappear. Okay, as simple as that. If you do not have this function, then there's another option. You go to this select, and you go to color range and make sure it is selected to sample colors and fuzziness all the way to 200 and click on the white background. Okay, so it will get selected. So you press OK. After that, you just press delete. Okay, so this is also another way. All right, whatever it is, you have these options to delete. And also there's another option. So you go to the magic wand and you untick this contiguous. Okay, you untick this and you just click on the white part so now what it will do is it has selected all the white parts you can simply hit delete and it will delete the white part so there are a couple of ways and also there are other methods also i hope uh, some of you if you are experienced in photoshop you must be knowing it and uh, some of you if you don't then you can do it in these three options for me i'll choose this one and i'll click on the background and here we go Next thing is to bring this design to our template over here. So I'll just hit Control or Command A. What it'll do is it'll select everything. And after that, you press Control C to copy or Command C to copy. And then you go to our template. From here, we're going to press Control V or Command V. All right, so right now the design is way too big than our template. So we need to resize this. So to resize, you just press Control or Command T, T for Tango. And then you just press shift 
and Alt together and take your mouse cursor on the side corner as long as you can see this. Can you see this difference? So once you see that arrow mark, you just resize it to the center. You can bring this here on the middle and again press shift and alt so that we maintain the ratio if we don't do that just see what it's going to do so it will distort the ratio okay so i'm going to press shift and alt together and then i'm going to resize this so that it can fit inside my template okay so once we have this all we need to do is we just need to change the color to black because we're going to print this in a film positive and everything that we print out should be in black okay so we're going to use an inkjet printer and not a laser printer because laser printer the black ink is not exactly black it's like a dark gray so what it'll do is to change the color you go to this layer section and we have this design part so you double click here once you double click you'll see this thing pop up and if you go down here and you see this color overlay so you click on the color overlay and you go to change the color here and choose the black okay press ok and ok so once you have done this we're ready to print so there is nothing more i think we don't need to do any changes because the resolution of this image is pretty good that means the image quality is very high okay so make sure whenever you download some image the resolution should be high enough so that we don't need to do much changes okay we'll also see how we can do some editing if the image quality is a little bit low but we i always recommend you to get the highest quality image so that you don't have to do that much of an adjustment and also photoshop has some limitations to make a very distorted image so our aim is to get high print quality sharp edges on all this you can see all these edges there so we need that sharp edges right so make sure you have your image quality or the design is of high quality so all right so once we are done so this is our template currently right now we are not going to put any registration mark uh, what i mean by registration mark well it's uh, we put registration mark so that whenever there is two color job or multicolor job we can align this later during printing or before the printing in this case we only have a single color so we don't need to put the registration mark we can straight away go and print this out in our printer that's exactly what we are going to do so uh, let's go and print this out and like i said we are going to use an inkjet printer my printer is a uh, canon ix6770 and this is one of the most budget a3 plus size printer available now in the market if you are tight on your budget you can invest in this one in this category i think this is the cheapest one otherwise if you have a budget and if you want to go for ink tank printer then you can go for epson they have some good printers as well like Epson L1300 and 1800 or otherwise if you want to buy a plotter 24 inch plotter go for the HP Design Z or anything from Canon or Epson all right so we go to file to print out and uh, we will hit print from here we will do some changes like first I'll select my printer and then I'll go to print settings and from here first thing first the printer paper size over here okay so I'm going to select A3 plus and i'm going to keep this in gray scale printing remember we are going to print in black ink right we don't need any colors the colors it will later come during the printing on our t-shirts okay so once we select gray scale we go to the mains and uh, from here print quality i'll keep to custom and set it to maximum right now it's it goes to two because i've selected the plain paper you can also select photo papers and choose this photo paper pro platinum and you can set it to one okay but for me for some reason i just keep it to plain paper because whenever i keep to photo paper pro platinum the ink consumption is unnecessary you know it, it takes a lot of ink black ink and your cartridges finishes the ink in the cartridges gets over very fast and for some reason a plain paper works fine for me you can check it out you can do some testings and see which one is better okay so i'll set this to two i've chosen plain paper and the color intensity i'll set it to dark okay high and dark this is for the 
Canon printer. If you have some other company's uh, printer, then you check out how to do, how to make it all dark, okay? So once you're done with that, you hit okay, and we will print this one in a film positive. So in the next step, we're going to see how to code emulsions and what kind of emulsions are there. Everything we're going to see in the next lesson. So see you in the next lesson.